this heaven? No. It's Iowa. Hello again folks and welcome back to this week's video and once again we are heading out into the wild game hunting. We have not one but two main locations to hit up this week. Firstly, we are going back to North Walsham as I have a very special Facebook Marketplace pickup that I need to grab as soon as possible. I've been looking for this item for my collection for ages. I will show you folks at the end what it is. Secondly, we are heading to not one but two car boots. They are a week apart as one of my local car boots is doing a trial. Basically, it is on a park and ride. They've also built a recycling center on the same site and I need to see if both can coexist together. So they're doing a two week trial. We'll be hitting up both of those. But before we jump into the live game, I want to remind you folks at home the importance of hitting that like button because it really helps the channel, but also subscribing so you don't miss any of my awesome videos. I put new videos out every Saturday live at five as well as bonus videos throughout the week and I don't want you folks to miss it. So hit that subscribe button now on Self Ocean. Let the game hunt begin. Here we are again then back in North Walsham. I normally wouldn't travel this far to just pick an item up on Facebook Marketplace, but this one is special and I thought, well, while I'm there, I might as well pick up as many charity shop finds as I possibly can. So I've been in this store before. They normally have a decent selection of games. As you can see here, they had one of my favorites, the Basket of Games. And yeah, there was a couple in here I was definitely going to pick up at a pound each. A couple to flip and a couple to add into the collection. And really surprisingly in 2022, a brand new Xbox 360 game for just one. One pound. On to the next shop, and there's a couple of PlayStation 3 games hiding in all the DVDs. They are Skylanders games, but the problem is I never really know which ones of these to pick up. You know, I don't actually own any Skylanders figures as such. I know some of these games have some decent trading value, but I'm not sure which ones they are. So, if you know which Skylanders games to add into the collection in 2022 for trading in, let me know in the comments down below. Whenever I go to a town I haven't been to for a while, I always Google to see how many charity shops there are and if there are any retro game shops. So imagine my surprise when I'm walking down the road and I see this in the distance. That looks to me a lot like a retro game shop and on closer inspection it actually is. So you know I'm heading straight in. It was super annoying I didn't realise this shop was here because it was only a few weeks ago I actually visited North Walsham Games Hunting but I also only had minutes remaining on my car parking ticket so I had to quickly go through these games and try and find as many bargains as possible but straight away there were some awesome games. This was one I've been looking for for a while because I never realised this is what Contra was called in this country. 30 quid is a really good price, but I'm going to hold out and try and get a box copy, but very cool to see nonetheless. The biggest surprise of this store, though, was the back of the store. It was absolutely full of awesome retro toys, and most of them were brand new in the box. There was Star Wars, there was Star Trek, there was cool Simpsons bits, there was old school stuff everywhere. I will definitely be returning to this store at a later date and having a super dig around because there was so much cool stuff and it was all really well priced. Like look at these kind of vintage Lord of the Rings figures, just tons and tons of stuff. This was like heartbreaking i did not have a lot of time to go around this store there was so much cool stuff but i just did not have the time to dig but trust me folks i will be heading back to this store and doing a much more in-depth game hunt and really picking through some of these old toys as i really love it i did manage to grab a few bits as i said while i was in there for my kind of fleeting journey so i'll show you folks what i picked up at the end of the video one of the other shops i visited and straight away as soon as i went in there just sitting on a table were these amazing simpsons comics as i've mentioned before my wife is a huge collector of these kind of simpsons graphic novels so you know these were super cheap but i definitely had to pick these up i just love the artwork in these these are so cool looking Definitely on the lookout for more of these all the time. But the other thing I found in this store, which I don't think I've ever seen before, is old gaming magazines. I know, like, we're all looking for kind of the classic Nintendo power. But, you know, I love just to have a selection of old game magazines in the games room. I can just sit and flick through at my heart's content. Some of these are, like, classic, like, games masks, like a 2017 Game Awards edition. That's so cool. You can go back in years to come and just kind of look back at what games are huge in 2017. And, like, the artwork on some of these, like, you know, full page. Shen Moy coming up and we've got full page Red Dead Redemption 2 they're just really cool pieces for 50p most of these gay like magazines they still are like 
they're fine for me because they're mainly talking about retro games, which is what I want to read about. So I don't really care if they're not up to date. So you know, rather than buying like a full price magazine off the shelf for like three or four quid, I can pick up some of these classic old editions, which I'm definitely going to find a lot more interesting. Also, of course, I had to look through all the games. It was a pretty decent selection. It was kind of annoying they were all mixed in with the DVDs, but, you know, this is Charity Shop, honey. You have to get your hands dirty and just jump in and see what you can find. I think it was all about a quid each, so, yeah, definitely a good way to add games into your collection. It's always a bonus if you head into the Charity Shop and they have games for a pound. You know, the Xbox 360 is a great console to pick up games for now. Is it only going to get more expensive over the coming years? At a pound each, you can't really go wrong. The following Sunday, we were up bright and early to head to the Harvard Bridge Park and Ride car boot. And this is a car boot that hasn't been back since COVID because on the same site, they built a recycling center. And this was part of a two week trial to see if the car boot and the recycling center could work together. So it was bright and early. We were heading into the car boot and hopefully it was going to be a good one. It was so good to be back at this car boot. It seemed like it had been literally years, which I suppose it had been since the car boot was back on. And, you know, I was straight away was jumping in and looking things to pick up, such as this Zelda kind of Wii remote for the Wii, obviously. The kind of crossbow train. I have this separately, but I was quite interested in the box version. But the guy was sadly asking a little bit too much, so I did pass it up. But, you know, that's the thing with car boots. You kind of have to pick and choose your deals. you got to kind of... Find the prices you want to stick to and just kind of stick to them. And it's all about just digging through and finding some cool stuff. And, you know, you never know what you're going to find. You know, it's one of these things you have to dig through a lot of stuff. You can see here, I'm just kind of digging through CDs, DVDs, because this is where they kind of hide the games. But, you know, you just got to keep heading through. Picking I, through the bins no, and I, finding I the cool stuff. We loved them, didn't we, back yeah. then? This is one of the reasons okay. why I love car boots, because you never, and I literally okay, well, mean yeah. never, okay. know what you're going to find. Which is, yeah, this is yeah, a fine example, back, this yeah. amazing yeah. Sonic yeah. statue. So this thing was from, yeah. like, the early 2000s. Yeah. That kind of, yeah. the dark days of Sonic, when everyone had kind of given up on the blue spiky guy. But, you know, I think this is amazing. You see so much kind of Mario and Nintendo, even Pokemon stuff at covers. You very rarely see cool Sonic collectibles, so I definitely had to grab this one and add it into the collection. Yeah, if you got one, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that amazing find early on just kind of spurred me on to keep digging and checking through some of these awesome things. Looking for these Lego books. I saw these dinosaurs, which I thought were suspiciously looked like Jurassic Park ones, but were sadly Tesco knockoffs. But then I found this stall, which had loads of awesome comics. These were in fantastic condition. They were really well priced, and there were some really cool ones. The problem is, I kind of said in an earlier episode, I'm trying to add comics into my collection that are either based on video games or in some loose fashion video game related and I have already gone wrong with that because I'm just a sucker for these when I see cool comics that are cheap you know I'm gonna pick them up that Tomb Raider one is especially really cool you know I see vintage Punisher ones I just see cool stuff and the thing is you can pick these up at the car boot super cheap I think the guy was charged like a pound each and he was such a nice guy like he even went into his car to show me that he had even more comics if I wanted to look through those it was just really cool you know these are the kind of things you can spend a lot of money on and even so we don't to pick him up at the car boot for a couple of quid it's kind of a no-brainer the rest of the car boot was a little bit quiet there was the odd video game here or there but you know not really too much to write home about there was some cool like vintage board games but it just didn't see them as busy as it used to be which is a bit of a shame you know this being a trial it just kind of got me wondering where is everybody you know where is everybody okay so here we go at the second week of the park and ride car boot so the clocks changed last night so that's against us it's mother's day today which means that's against us and also the weather seems to be against us it is kind of cold kind of damp and kind of misty but let's see we might get lucky like i said then it was very early it was a terrible day weather wise the clocks had changed and it was also mother's day and this car boot the second week of the trial was somewhat lacking but you know me i'm not going to give up i'm going to be jumping into these boxes searching through to find the odd game here and there so straight away i managed to find this box which was like dvds playstation 2 games xbox 360 games a little bit of everything but that is what i like you know i like to work to find my games you know i would dig through these boxes and i will find the cool stuff especially if they're cheap you know if you can get, oh, thankfully they were not six pounds. That 
basically, that shocked me this early in the morning. I was like, if I, I'm going to put these games back if that's the price, but thankfully they were not the price, so I had to pick up a couple of cheap PS2 games. Frankly, the card room may have been quiet, but there was some other games, as you can see here. This is a really nice way to actually display some games. So, it wasn't anything too amazing, but it was good to see games nonetheless. And this is how I like to find my games. Just a basket full of games. Nothing special Which here, but space? cheap PS2 games, you can't really go wrong. 50p. Cool. It was a real shame about the weather and kind of the clocks changing and the fact it was Mother's Day. This car boot was very quiet. It was probably one of the quietest car boots I've seen for a long while, which is a real shame when it is on a trial. But, you know, I'm still going to keep searching until the bitter end. I literally got to the last lane on this car boot when I spotted out the corner of my eye this awesome little retro electric Simon. Like, who remembers these from back in the day? I just used to love these kind of weird battery powered electronic toys this was really cool really cheap definitely picked it up this is kind of those cool little weird memories items but yeah it was a real shame about the weather and everything being against this car boot but hopefully the trial went well and we'll be back to strength strength very soon there we have it then folks another week of live game hunting in the bag and it was a real shame that car boot wasn't a little bit bigger but hopefully the trial ones will go well and it'll go from strength to strength over the coming few months so I cannot believe I'd never seen that retro kind of gaming and toy shop in North Ocean before. But trust me, I will definitely be going back there with a vengeance. So speaking of North Walsham, as I said at the start of the video, there was a reason I went there. And it was to pick up this amazing Facebook Marketplace pickup. This is the Star Wars Xbox 360. This thing is an absolutely beautiful item. I've been after this for ages. It is a little bit dirty. I am going to clean this up, then I'm going to show you why this is one of my favorite Xbox 360s they ever made. Here we have that incredibly cool Xbox 360 hooked up then. So a couple of things about the listings. It did not come with a power cable, but thankfully I had a couple of spare power cables. And it also did not come with the Kinect, which normally comes with it, or the matching C3PO controller. But I will be looking out for both of those on eBay very, very soon. But the main thing and the coolest thing about this one is when you power it on. So all of the buttons make special Star Wars noises. And it even has a secret message inside the disc tray. Super glad to add that Xbox 360 into my collection for many, many reasons. Firstly, I love Star Wars. Secondly, the Xbox 360 is one of my favorite consoles to collect for. And it now means I have two out of the four limited edition consoles, which they did. I already have the Gears of War one. Now I have the Star Wars one. Now all I need is the Call of Duty one and the Halo 4 one. But trust me, they will be mine. So to pick this up for 20 quid is an absolutely incredible bargain. You know, CX is selling just the console for quite a bit more than that. So yeah, definitely happy to add it into the collection. I can still not get over the fact that I'd never seen that retro gaming shop in North Walsham before. So that shop is called Disc and That, and they had an absolutely incredible selection of stuff. But I had I did not have all the time in the world to look around there as I had to get back because I only had so long on the car park. And I did not want to get a parking ticket, even if I was looking for retro games. I managed to pick up a game for the mask system, and that is Pit Fire. And this is in absolutely amazing condition. And it's also, if I can get it open, a complete game, which is really good. And for £5 for a complete Marxism game in 2022 is fantastic. And also I picked up this Lotus 2 for £6 for the Mega Drive. I love these kind of old school racing games. And again, as well, this one is fully complete. So I will leave a link to the store in the description below. But yeah, if you're ever in the North Walsham area, definitely recommend going in there, checking it out. One pound charity shop video games are an amazing way to boost your collection or just trade them into CX. So that Punisher game traded in for £3 and a Just Dance game traded in for £1.60. But I did add a couple into the collection such as Guitar Hero 5 which I did not have and at a pound I'm always looking to add more Guitar Hero games. I think I'm nearly there on having them all now. I did pick up this Beatles Rock Band because it is sealed and a pound for a sealed Xbox 360 game even if it sits on the shelf and maybe never actually gets much more value it's still cool to see a sealed game in this day and age and I did just pick up Madden 13. I know people won't pick up FIFA's just for the sake of it but Madden I feel is not quite as common so three games for £3 to add into the game collection definitely got more than £3 worth of value. 
This week I started adding some comics into my very small collection, which is already going a little bit off the rails. I was aiming to just add video game related comics, and it's already gone wrong in the very first week of looking. So the first one is this Punisher War Journal, and this is absolutely amazing. It is for 1993, and it's also like a Dungeons and Dragons special. Like some of the advertisements in here are so cool. It's just like the iconic Dungeons and Dragons kind of artwork. Next up we have this Star Wars Dark Horse comic and obviously I just picked this up because I love Star Wars. I think it's a lot more recent but definitely a very cool one. And then I actually picked one up which was video game related and it is this very sexy looking um, Lara Croft Tomb Raider one. And also one of the reasons I picked this up is because on the back look at that advert for Baldur's Gate 2. That is a thing of beauty. Picked all three of these comics up for just £2 for the free. I have no idea on the value of comics, so I'm just going to say £2 is fine by me. Of course, that wasn't the only print media we picked up this week. I also picked up this selection of games magazines. So the first one is this game magazine. I've never even heard of this magazine company before, but some of the artwork on these is just really cool, especially this Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of special. Then we have some awesome copies of Games Master. I used to love reading this back in the day, especially like, I just love some of the artwork and it's like, you know, this one is a Resident Evil and Cyberpunk special. How cool is that? This one is a 2017 awards edition. I just love going back and flicking through these and just reading them. And I do actually already have a subscription to Retro Gamer, but it's always cool to pick up another copy. This to read through is it's always relevant. And you know, all of these were just 50p each, which I think is a fair price to pay. So I'm not gonna knock it, just whatever I paid for, I'm happy with that. It just seemed with a car beat that literally everything was against us. The weather, the fact it was on trial, the fact it was Mother's Day, the fact it was a cold, windy day, the fact the clocks had changed. But I did manage to pick up some pretty budget PlayStation 2 titles. So first off, we have Crazy Frog Racer, which, you know, if nothing else, is an incredible zeitgeist and it's actually got made. I play Toy, which I think is the one iToy game I don't have in my collection. I know they're not the most exciting, but again, a very good zeitgeist. So then we have Ghost Recon Jungle Storm, and thankfully that was not £6, which I thought at first. I was like, you are joking me, but thankfully not. Also, Conflict Zone, which looks kind of cool, like kind of an RTS game on a PS2. So looking forward to checking this one out. And we have Transformers the game. Sorry, I held that up a little bit there. Transformers the game, which if you haven't played, is actually a pretty solid game. So all of these games I managed to pick up for just £2, and they're about £5 worth of value in CX. So nothing incredible, but... You know, it's all about building that PS2 collection and the car boot like that, you get what you're given. It's always a bit of a gamble you pick up anything electronic from the car boot, but I have a good feeling about this Pocket Simon. So I did go ahead at the car boot and kind of check the battery compartment to make sure there's no corrosion. But this thing uses a weird selection of batteries. It's like two double A and then one of those big kind of square batteries. But if nothing else, it's a really cool display piece. It's quite hard to kind of price this because it's like Schrodinger's toy at the moment. I don't know if it works inside testing with batteries. I don't have any of those square batteries at the moment. If it works, it should be about, it's hard to tell on eBay, should be about a 15 pound item, but I'm just happy for it for a quid as a little bit of a display piece. This is the final item we picked up for the car boot this week. And you know what? I think it might be my favorite pickup from this week. Just because this is the kind of thing I love to find in the car boots, the kind of weird and wonderful. So this is obviously a Sonic figure from the early 2000s, I think it was, at a time when no one really enjoyed Sonic anymore, and he kind of fallen out of public grace. And it does say two incredible phrases. I'm giving you one last chance, man. And also... So yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic piece. This is going to go pride a place on top of my probably Sega shelf when I finally get it put up. And yeah, just really happy that £6 paid for this. It is a really difficult one to value, but it is pretty much priceless to me. And yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic piece to add into the collection. There we have it then, folks. That is another week of game hunting in the bag. And what an amazing week it has been. Hopefully that new car boot, the trial period, will have been a success. And I'll be back on the circuit for the rest of the year. And it'll only go from strength to strength. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, subscribe as I put new videos out every Saturday live at 5. And as always, keep playing the game. As long as you